Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about enzymes in digestion. The purpose of the digestive system is to break down your food, which is made up of large insoluble molecules, into smaller soluble molecules that our cells can absorb via the bloodstream. So these large insoluble molecules, such as complex carbohydrates and proteins and fats, need to be broken down into small soluble molecules because the molecules need to be absorbed into the bloodstream and then from the bloodstream into all of our cells and the way they're broken down is by the use of enzymes and in this video we will look at each enzyme where it's produced and what it does plus we're going to look at bile and its functions so let's look at the digestive enzymes and what they do. There are three macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. And there are also three main categories of digestive enzyme. Each one breaks down a certain macronutrient. So if we look at proteins, proteins are broken down by protease, which is the type of enzyme that breaks down protein and is broken down into amino acids. So here we have a long insoluble molecule and it's broken down by this enzyme protease into smaller soluble molecules. Carbohydrates are broken down by a type of enzyme called carbohydrase. It's broken down into simple sugars. Lipids, which are basically fats, are broken down by lipase into fatty acids and glycerol. There is a specific carbohydrate that you need to be familiar with and how it's broken down and that is starch. Starch is broken down by a particular type of carbohydrate called amylase and it's broken down into glucose. So that's a specific example of carbohydrates being broken down that you do need to know. Starch is a complex carbohydrate. The enzyme that breaks it down is amylase and it's broken down into glucose. So here's a drawing of the digestive system and we are going to look at where each enzyme is produced and also where bile is produced as well. Now, as soon as you start chewing your food, digestion begins and amylase is secreted by your salivary glands, which are around here. So here we have amylase being secreted in your saliva and it gets to work on the starches in your food. The food moves on to the stomach, which is this thing here, this organ here, where it encounters stomach acid, which aids the breakdown of food and also proteases. Proteases are produced in the stomach in order to break down proteins. After a few hours, the food leaves the stomach and moves on to the small intestine. At this stage, the pancreas, which is this small organ behind the stomach here, the pancreas secretes amylase, protease and lipase. So all three, amylase, protease and lipase. And it secretes it onto the food as it travels from the stomach to the small intestine. And the small intestine also produces all three types. So we have amylase, we have protease and lipase as well. So all three are produced in the small intestine. All three are produced in the pancreas. We have protease being produced in the stomach and we have amylase in the salivary glands here. So the small intestine is where food is fully broken down into soluble small molecules which can be absorbed into the bloodstream to be transported around the body to the cells that need them. 
Now another thing happens as food goes from the stomach to the small intestine. Bile is secreted onto the food as it travels out of the stomach. Bile is made in the liver, so this is the liver here, this large organ. Bile is made in the liver and it's stored in the gallbladder, which is this small thing here. And bile has two jobs. So bile's first job is to change the pH because the stomach is acidic, but the enzymes in the small intestine need to be in an alkaline environment. And bile is alkaline, so it neutralizes the acid from the stomach and it makes it slightly alkaline in order to help digestion in the small intestine. Secondly, bile emulsifies fat, which is to break it up into smaller droplets. So instead of having a large blob of fat, the bile will break it up, emulsify it into smaller droplets, therefore increasing the surface area and helping the lipase to break down the fat more quickly. Okay, so that was a short video on enzymes in digestion and also a little bit about bile. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and share and I'll see you all in the next video.